tonight at Zootropolis, we had a premiere of a project which was to bring together artists to interpret stories that we've been collecting from members of the community, focusing on black, indigenous people of color within the city of Lancaster about their connections to the river. And from those stories, we then have engaged artists to create poetry, all kinds of art interpretation to get the message out much more broadly about our connections to the river. I mean, there's definitely been a disconnect for my generation and younger. Um, and I'm just excited to be able to get a lot of us involved with some of the work that's been going on in public works and, and just be able to attach it to some of our everyday, you know, experiences growing up around here. Uh, Maple Grove had a pool. Later on, there was a pool called Brookside and African-American young people were not permitted to swim there. And so the alternative was to swim in the Pogi. That portion of the river was called the Pogi, which I, I'm told derived its name from the fact that it ran by uh, what is now kind of stuck of view, but back in the day it was just called the County Poorhouse. An elder once told me my poem speaks to my soul as a prayer that is manifesting itself every time I recite it. Every time I ask for my soul to be spoken to, I feel the presence of my ancestors and presence of the Most High. And it is a reminder of who I am a reflection of and the power of passing these stories, our history, on for the next generation to speak life to. They waited in the water so we can flow. This was a celebration of who we, who we as city are and our relationship to the river. The, the idea that people have histories and experiences and connect, are connected to the river in a wide variety of different ways, especially people of color who have often been marginalized from other aspects of the civic society. The river was the lifeblood of the city in all aspects, but especially for this, for this population. This was the part where community people came to celebrate. We had a certain spot. Uh, that we used to go. I didn't know how to swim, but you learned how to swim if you went down the ponies. Because what the older boys used to do is pick you up, throw you in the water, throw you right in the creek. They wouldn't let you drown, but you learned to swim pretty quickly. We look forward to go to ponies, and ponies was, that was our swimming. Pool. I am going to be reading a poem from Langston Hughes titled, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. Mm -hmm. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood and human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I came to see River Connections and I was just mind blown by all of it, but especially the original poetry and performances. I was expecting amazing stories from the past, but to see it so present, literally present, just blew my mind. Since I'm a millennial, I didn't write it down. I got it on my iPad. You know what I'm saying? I never learned to skip a rock because that intimate relationship skipped the generation. The flow of the streets have drowned many. The mark of the beast, better known as the crawl of poverty, has gouged plenty eyes from envisioning their true potential. We need to be reminded that communities of color and natural resources like the Conestoga have been treated similarly in our history. As the, the director of public works, some of the things I've learned recently are that we put cleaner water back into the river than what we take out. Now, don't worry, we're treating the, the water that we do take out so that it's some of the cleanest water in the region, but we are the cleanest part of the Conestoga River is that part which is within the city of Lancaster because of the work that all of us are doing. And I want us all to be aware of why and how that river is important, that when we're picking up trash on the streets, when we're cleaning those streets, when we're planting trees, when we're doing things that build up the experience and the, and the, the, the wonderful environmental part of the city that we love and share, we are also building and rebuilding the health of that river. The goal ultimately is for us to continue to make more and more river connections. This next poem is one that I wrote for someone very important to me. 
It is called You Are the River. I saw glimpses of you in the river, your beautiful eyes reflected in the water. As the birds whisper symphonies of music, I think of a song for you. It flows like the Conestoga right next to you. You are like home in the summer. Infatuated by my thoughts of you, these waves of wonder are waiting for you. There's bliss in the silence you bring, painting pictures with the stones, a hopeful foundation ready to renew. You are the river and I'm connected to you. Thank you. And it's raising stories of, from places that are places of hurt, but they're also stories of hope and they're stories of people's connections to our natural resources which is something that I connect to too. There's no way that you could ever refute the city or the river is a part of the city's culture, the city's prowess, right? Um, but at the end of the day, the more that we get involved, the more that we get some education like this and it feels good. You can complain about something, but as soon as you create like an art piece to be to express how you feel about something, it's so much more easily internalized. So I'm hoping that this definitely opens some people's mind up. We realize this is one of the ways, if not the best way, to reconnect community and diverse communities to the importance of water, the importance of natural resources, the importance of the environment, and the role that it plays in supporting anything and everything we do, whether it's living, working, or playing here in the city of Lancaster. This is one of the things that makes it a very, very special place. I've never been brought into the conversation of what, the, what it means to have a healthy river. I've never been a part of that conversation. So this is a first step to something very beautiful, something very fruitful, something prolific. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.